Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a general collective tarot reading session for you Capricorn. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for the Capricorn friends out there. Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming back. Thanks for being here. Yes, viewers, if you haven't hit the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Capricorn, I invite you to please follow me on my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. The details of my Instagram account, it's down in the description box below. Um, check out my blog. We've just uploaded the new moon in Virgo. Um, so if you, if you're interested to have a two, to spend two to three minutes read, it's, an, it's entertaining, it's informative. And if you want to know how the new moon in Virgo will impact your sign, we'll put the link down in the description box for you. And then also we've got this amazing project that we've been, uh, working hard in the background, my team. And it's also, um, about the the foundation and the charity that i'm supporting locally and in my hometown the philippines so we've decided to it was you know dope sorry <laughs> merchandise yeah sorry so we've got a couple of new merchandise uh cool cool designs so if you're interested to check out our merchandise the profit goes to my charity and to my team we have extended it via etsy so all of the details is in the website sunshine-tv.com or check out our etsy store and thank you for those who purchase and thank you in advance for those who will purchase it means a lot okay so let's see what's com what's coming forward to capricorn what is the message for you what can I get for Capricorn? This is a general collective reading. So the intuitive message that I will pick up is September energy and October energy. And this is general collective or general situationship that would include personal relationship with your family, friends, colleague, career finance, another opportunity. If you're looking for a love reading, it's been uploaded two days or yesterday. It's in the playlist, okay? Weekly love reading. But if there's a love, but if there's a love message in here or love energy, I will let you know, okay? So let's start your reading, Capricorn, by um, pulling one card for your over overall energy. I'm struggling with letter R. Overall energy is you've got the high priestess in reverse. You're not listening to your intuition, um, or there's some sort of news, like the answer is in your face. I'm getting like, you know, um, there are some information that you're looking for, but the answer is in front of you. And for some of you, your intuition is telling you something, your gut, your hunch is telling you something, and your intuition is correct, but you're not following that. But pretty much the answer is in front of you. You have the answer now. I'm getting that Um. Yeah, you have the answer. For some of you, I'm hearing the word, the answer is no answer. And that's a strong answer. I hope it makes sense. Your challenge, Capricorn, is the hangman. Yeah, it seems to be, you've got the answer. Your intuition is telling you, this is the answer. This is the details. This is the information. Stop, stop looking further and acceptance you know there's something that you aren't accepting or you're not accepting the answer now all right let's go to specific for you capricorn um i can hear my stomach i'm hungry um i don't i actually passed i do fasting when it fasting sorry letter f <laughs> not a very good english sunshine so let's look at the um Let's look at the Page of Swords in your recent past. It's clarified by the full card in upright position. One more, please. Okay, Six of Cups. So in the recent past, um, in the recent past, you took a risk, okay? In the recent past, you were involved into something of a... It's connected to your family or your friends, or it could be a personal relationship, a, a lover. But in here, I feel like you took a risk and that risk was not worth it. You took a risk, you did something, you said something. Um, and I feel like that risk that you took, like maybe you, maybe for some of you, you took the blame. 
but you 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 did something a little bit risky for some of you i'm hearing the word you took the blame um now that's a lesson learned okay because i feel like that situation will reoccur again pretty much october month so i hope you've learned your lesson there's something in here there's something in that taking a risk that didn't work that it's advising you learn from the past okay um it's pretty much like a mistake it, it's it's a, it's a risk it's a mistake and i'm seeing this situation come back in o october month so i hope you learned your lesson and you know how to handle it again i mean for some of you i'm hearing the word um you know make sure that it's legal make sure that you you follow the right the right be right use okay be follow the right step or be right use okay now you've got the sun card in reverse the six of cups and clarify but the six of the six sorry sun card the ten of cups the king of pentacles um i feel like this is a love reading um i feel like in the month of july and august okay in the month of july august um it seems to be you're chasing you're giving um to a person who's not committed to you it's reminding you in the current energy to it's been the it's it's going it's 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 telling you it's now the third month or it's been it's you're still in the same position so it's reminding you to not good i mean i feel like it's a it's a romantic energy where, where it's one way and it's july august and it's now september and it's reminding you that it's pretty obvious this person is non-committal non-committed non-paying attention um and uh, unappreciative so do wake up you know i'm getting like do wake up and just you know put your attention to yourself okay that's a love energy um because i feel like this person up until now it's still interested with you but non-committal okay um so the magician card clarified by the emperor card star card um the emperor card um i feel like in the recent past you're in conversation with someone with somebody um it could be a project it's a bit ambitious okay in the recent past up until the current energy you're working on with someone with somebody it's a project um it's a goal it, it is a goal it is a project um, it's reminding you to be realistic about your goal. Um, it is quite ambitious and the timeline that you promise or you pledge or the output, the outcome, the design, the thing that you want to achieve, it's, it is reminding you to be practical, be realistic and be mindful of the time frame because you might not be able to deliver it or it's reminding you let's be realistic on our approach i mean you know because it's big this is i mean this is what you want to achieve the emperor you want to create an empire you want to launch something that it's big it's requiring time so i mean these are good energies because you know it's good energies because it's ambitious it's your dream you've got a lot of drive you know in in this in this recent energy up until now your drive your ambition your goal it's great but also be practical you know be you know there's an element there's a reminder to be practical of your doings also make sure that your budget is up to this like have a reality check of your plan because it might not be able to be as grand as you think because of um of its impractical approach so good dream great ambition make sure that it's it's doable okay because you're doing this now you're doing this you've been thinking about this and working on this in the recent past up until now it it it, it involved you and a group of people you, you could be building something but you know great to have an empire build an empire but make sure it's it's something doable with the specific timeline or time frame that you're targeting okay reality check 
Now, in the current energy, you've got the two of wands in upright position. You've got the eight of pentacles, the two of swords, okay, and the three of pentacles. Ooh. Look, for some of you, I'm getting like Capricorn. In the current energy, you keep repeating yourself, you know. It is like a pattern, you know. Um, two of Wands, you could be working on travel. You could be working on travel. But it, it's a repetitive cycle that you keep going back to zero. And I feel like it's related to work on how you do your work or how you do your routine. Two of Wands, this is a current energy. Because, you know, Eight of Pentacles, you're working hard today. And the next day, you downgrade it to, eight of, to, to, to Three of Pentacles. That, you know, so it's telling you to be consistent. I feel like it's around work, you know. I feel like this reading, this current energy, it's related to work. And you're doing this work, you're today, you're 100%. And tomorrow, you're zero. So how can you deliver or achieve if you keep changing your work timing or your pattern or there's something inconsistent about how you do the work and it's affecting delivery production so it's telling you to be consistent you know three of pentacles eight of pentacles for some of you it's advising you to delegate it's related to work okay and it's the now energy two of wands i feel like this is now up until next week you want to deliver something you want to pitch there's something that there's something that you're focused like there's something that you keep changing it there's something with a goal in the current energy up until next week that's really serious or it's 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 an energy where you keep changing it for example if you would like to draw like you, you want to paint a rose okay so you started to paint the rose so it's yellow you know you want to paint a yellow rose and the next day oh you want to change this you want to make it a red rose so the time you spent yesterday of the yellow rose now you change it to a red rose so you keep changing it and it's a it's kind of a waste of time from you know from from eight to three like you're downgrading you know if you do not keep changing your mind then you could have come up with the final outcome a final design so be consistent with your pattern it's more of be organized because I'm seeing the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords in here. Like, I feel like in the current energy, Capricorn, you're so, uh, something is intense. Something is, you're feeling the pressure. You're feeling the pressure. Something is intense. Something is making you feel worn out. Or you work hard towards something and you could not deliver the output or the outcome. Put a structure, you know, plan. Like, you know, for some of you, if it's design, stick to one design. Stop, you know, stop, stop changing your mind. Like the, the current energy is telling me you keep changing your mind. So whenever you change your mind, you start all over again. So sit and then really create picture out, you know, write picture out what you want and then do it. But don't rewrite it, rewrite it all over again because Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, you're, you're not going to get into an outcome if you keep changing your mind. You know, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. Um, simplify. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. So something is going on with your work, your busy, your career, your travel plan. Something that is your, there's something in the next two weeks that you're so focused. The key to this is kiss. Keep it simple. I, okay, I will not say the other word, but keep it simple. You're nearly there. Keep it simple. All right. And in the immediate future, okay, it's looking good. You've got the Ace of Wands in here and the Knight of Cups. Okay. Um, you've got a new lover. Um, I feel like it feels brand. It's this. It's the. It's the same for if it's the same person but different feeling. Okay. Um, for some of you, this is an ex. For some of you, this is a special connection. And I feel like they're coming towards you end of September, October. And it is looking brand new. It is looking like clear. They have no third party. And they're very serious about reconnecting with you. Okay. Ace of, sorry, Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups. I mean... I feel like when this person arrives, when this is when this when you when you encounter this 
when this energy is activated in your immediate future, um, you'll be so, so happy that you did not give up on manifesting this person, okay? Um, for some of you, 30%, it's an ex. For some of you, 70%, you dated this person. You really, really want this person to, um, like, you really want to end up together. Like, this is, like, game over for you. Like, this is the person that you want to marry. You've been manifesting them. And here you go. Because six of swords, six of swords in reverse, this is a return. They will return. They're free. And they are their um you ownership you can really own this okay ace of wands passionate and knight of cups sincere you don't have a blockage in here so enjoy the return so this is your reading thank you capricorn for joining you thanks for being here guest viewers if you haven't clicked the bell click the bell now and i'll see you soon guys bye bye